everybody, it is Mint Manatee here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this super awesome Fortnite Raven skin and I think he is really cool. He is the closest I could get to the actual character um, in Rainbow Loom form so uh, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make him today and I'm really excited for that. Just a quick update. I made Cinderella, um, and I'm going to be posting her in my shop. This is her little like dress, the back of her dress. And I'm actually in the process of making a, my own original design of a um, Rapunzel Tsum Tsum tutorial, uh, or not tutorial, just um, creating the pattern and everything for Rapunzel. So, I will maybe possibly start doing live streams on those things. Um, I'm also going to be posting Nemo and my alpaca in my Etsy shop, including these happy foods. But other than that, let's get on with the Be tutorial. sure to go check out my Etsy shop. The link will be in the description box below. The supplies that you'll be needing today are your rainbow loom. A hook, metal tip preferred, but plastic tip works just as fine. You'll also be needing bands in the colors of ocean blue or just regular blue if you don't have any other variations of blue. I'm also using this darker blue and this purpley blue for the feathers on your raven skin. I'm also going to be using some brown for the belt black for mostly all of the suit and you will also be needing some purple which is right here and finally two little white um bands for the eyes all the approximate band counts and values will be in the description box below so you guys can go check that out Alrighty, and let's get on with the video. To start by making the extension pieces, such as the belt and um, the attachment of feathers on the belt. First, we're going to be attaching this like long, kind of trailing cape. Um, so for that, you're going to be needing your black and a couple of your feather colors. Okay, and I'm just going to really quickly open up this black. Okay. Alrighty, and now what you're going to do is you're going to go from the top of your loom, taking a single rubber band, going vertically once, vertically again, vertically a third time, and then finally a fourth. Then do the same in the center, go down using single rubber bands, four times. Alrighty, and finally the other side. Like that. Okay, and now for the bottom, we are going to be taking a single rubber band, twist double, and place it as a triangle over the bottom on all three of those pins. Alrighty, and now we're going to in, be in the process of attaching the feathers for the top part right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, maybe five to six uh, bands in variations of colors for the feathers. I'm going to make sure they are spread out like that. And then I'm going to place all of them on my hook, single, wrap it around like so, and then kind of like stretch them out like that. Alrighty, and now I'm going to carefully attach them and slide them on to that one single band like so and I'm being sure not to put them all on at the same time just carefully one after the other 
Alrighty, and now I'm going to do the same for the center uh, and the other side. So I'm just going to take the feather rubber bands. I'm going to take one more purple. I'm going to wrap them around two times, like so. And then I'm going to take this single rubber band and slide almost all of them. Now all of them. Place on. that black rubber band back like so. Now we are going to do the center and the center is going to be a couple less um, rubber bands than you did on these other uh, couple pins or other two pins, sorry. Um, alrighty, so I have my feather rubber bands and I am going to take them and wrap them around twice like that. Slide them. them on that single black rubber band very carefully because they are a lot of rubber bands on your hook. And then finally put that single black rubber band back on its assigned peg. Alrighty. So now that we are done with that one, we are going to place our triangle rubber bands, single black rubber bands, just across. You're not twisting or doubling them Finally, at all. the last one, like that. Okay, so now that I have all three of them, just quickly hook it. So I'm going to go right here using the outside or sorry, go in past that little rubber band, hook it upwards, like so. And for the center one, right here, you don't have to go past anything, so you can just hook it up like that, and go past that triangle rubber band, and hook upwards. Then you're just going to hook normally, all the way up, and be sure to stop when you get to the feathers. So continue until you have reached the feathers. Alrighty, so now we're going to grab a couple more of your band colored feathers. Um, I'm just getting three, like so. And then I'm going to take them on my hook and wrap them around twice, like that. Now, when you are hooking upwards like this, be sure to slide them on like so. And then reclaim. All right, and we're going to do that to the left side right here. I'm going to really quickly clean up my workspace a little bit, that, guys. Alrighty, now I'm going to grab my other three, wrap them around twice and hook this upwards like that, slide them on, and reclaim like that. Alrighty, so now we are finished with this and we're just going to hook up that middle one like normal, okay? And before we take it off, all of these three bands are unstabilized, or not unstabilized, but they're, um, we can't take them off or else the whole design would fall apart. So what we're going to do now is take a single um, black rubber band and we are going to take another single black rubber band and create a slip knot using them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one and you're going to pull it through the other like this and then you're going to take one of the other loops and pull it over and tug like that. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's twisted or anything. Now we're going to go in through one and we're going to pull our slip knotted two bands through like that. And then we're going to go through this middle one 
pull the two slip knotted bands through that one. Do the same for the last one and pull the slip knotted bands through. Okay, and then reclaim like that and pull the rest of it off your loom. And be sure to be very careful since your bands can be pretty tight on your loom. Okay, so now I am finished with this right here. His little um, trail behind him, behind his belt. And you're just going to pull at the feathers. Make sure they're not as bunched together. Make sure there's like trailing outwards like that. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside, set it on a pencil or um, an extra hook or um, like a skewer or something. That way it doesn't end up falling apart. Now it is time for the belt. So you are just going to be needing um, some black and brown rubber bands. To start off, we're going to take a single rubber band and wrap it around um four times three four like that now we're going to take a single twist double black rubber band and we are going to be creating a total of 10 links with twisted double rubber bands in black so i am at one right now and now i'm going to need to create nine more I'm going to stop at five and allow you guys to create the rest because I don't want this video to be longer than it already is since this, this design is going to be one of my longer ones. Alrighty, there I have three. I'm going to do my fourth. And finally, my fifth, like so. Okay, so I am at five right now. Be sure to create five more um, and pause this video and be sure to keep it on your hook um, until further instructions. Alrighty, and I will see you when you are finished with those five extra chain links. 10 chain links. And now I'm going to take a single brown rubber band, pull it through all of those rubber bands, reclaim it, and tie a slip knot. Be sure to tug it really, really tightly, and set it aside because we're going to be using that as the belt. And I'll show you guys how to attach it into a belt once we get there. Alrighty, now we are going to start on the body now that we have all the attachments done. So now we're going to take double rubber bands and put them diagonally on the right and left sides. Now we are going to go double in the center vertically and double vertically on the right and left sides. Like so. Now we are going to go down once more on all three rows. And now we're going to close the chin off diagonally. And then two black rubber bands in the center like that. So now we're going to put the eyes on there and in order to do that, you're going to need to take a single purple and a single white rubber band. You're going to need two of those. And then you're going to go from the center right here to the third pin on your right. You're going to go from the center here to your third pin on your left. Like that. And we are going to hook it once we are done. So, so once we are doing 
um, connector bands. I'll give you guys further information on that. Now we're going to create his little purple scarf. So we're going to go double purple bands in the center. We're going to go double purple bands coming right here, I believe. Yes. And then double purple bands coming right here. So that way it's like up in a way. Right? Oh, sorry, never mind. I'm going off the design right you now. <laughs> take all of those off. I apologize. We're going to take double black rubber bands for the neck and then take our double purple and create a scarf like that. Alrighty, and now what we are going to do is take double black Go down once on the right and left sides, like so. And now we're going to go down once more on the right and left sides. And then go down in the center twice. Still using double black rubber bands. Now we're going like to so. go down one more row. Now that we are finished with the torso, we're going to get on with the pants, which are going to be in purple. So you're going to take double purple rubber bands. I'm just going to quickly grab these out of the bag. Go like this. And then you're going to go down on the right and left sides only two more times. Like that. Now on the other side, like that. Now you're going to go in the center once. So now that the pants are done, we're going to go on with the shoes, which are going to be double black rubber bands, twice down on only the right and left sides. Now on the left side, like so. Now we're going to create the arms really quickly, which are going to be quite simple because we're only going to be using our hook and hands. Two, three, four, five. So I was just counting how many links that we needed. We're going to take a single rubber band and wrap it around our hook three times. And we're going to create a total of five um, chain links using two rubber bands. So I have one. Two, three, four, and finally, five. All right, guys, really quickly, go make your other arm, uh, and I will see you guys now in a bit. Two arms completed, and now I'm going to place them on the shoulder one on the right and one on the left as well like that stretch them a little bit lightly that way they're facing outwards now we're going to add the center entwining rubber bands so first we're going to take a single black rubber band wrap it around on the foot three times do the same on the other side one two three like so then we are going to take a single uh purple rubber band and instead of going regularly and making a triangle we're going to go take the center and bring it above that middle pin like that and now we're going to take a single purple rubber band stretching it across like so we're going to continue these are single purple rubber bands again. Now we are going to take single black rubber bands and go around, or up, sorry, 
like this. Now, really quickly before we end up finishing all of this up here, we are going to take our hook and bring this one rubber band up like this and then bring this other shoulder rubber band up like this. So that way all of the rubber bands are like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna add extra feathers. So you're going to take more of your feather colors. I'm just grabbing a couple. And I'm going to take them all on my hook and wrap them around twice like that. And you're going to slide those on right here carefully. And be sure not to add too many or else you might cover the neck. I don't know. I kind of like it how it covers up the neck a little bit. Um, but you can add um, just a couple in if you want the neck not to be covered. All right, and do it on the right side. So I'm just gonna grab the rest of my feather colors. Like that. And then I'm going to take them, wrap them around my hook twice, like so. And then slide them very carefully on to this or these two purple rubber bands and put it down like that now that we have those two done we're gonna have to do the middle which is going to have only a couple so I'm going to grab a smaller amount in my hand wrap them around twice like that and slide them on to this right here. And place it down again like that. Now I'm going to just take this rubber band and place it back in the middle. Take this other rubber band and place it back in the middle. Now all the hard part, all the hard parts are done, and we're just going to take a single black triangle rubber band, place it up like that, and then we're going to take another single black triangle rubber band and place it across the eyes like that. Now that we have basically the entire body finished, we're going to hook. And be sure to stop right here when you are hooking this part because we're going to add um, some more feathers if you want. I'm going to add only um, like maybe one or two. So you're going to go in and just hook upwards. Be sure to only grab the bottom two when hooking. And be very careful not to grab any other rubber bands besides the bottom two. Just continue slowly hooking upwards. So I'm stopping right there at the shoulder. Just gonna continue hooking. And you can hook the middle part of the neck upwards because we're not going to be adding any feathers for that one. And then finally, the left side. Almost there. Like that. Alrighty, so now we are finished and we're going to um, do these two and add a couple more um, feathers. Wrapping three feathers around my hook, going in past all of those rubber bands and being careful just to grab the bottom two rubber bands, slide those on, and place it forward like that. Alrighty, now we're going to do the other side. 
So take your three red bands, wrap them around twice, and your hook. Grab the bottom two, slide them on carefully, and then replace them back right over here. Now we're going to continue just hooking normally. If I can grab the bottom of the neck. I can only grab this part. Okay, there we go. Whew. Be careful when hooking that one up because there's a lot of stress on those two rubber bands. And then you're only going to hook sort of the bottom part of the face. So hook that forward and then hook only the right and the left rubber bands. And before you do anything else, we're going to take these top two rubber bands in the center, which are going to be the eyes, and hook them outwards. And hook the other two outwards, like that. Now you're going to just hook normally until you have reached the top. It should not be too difficult. Like that. And just be sure to continue. And now I have the left side to do. And I apologize about lighting. Right now it's um, dark out. Okie dokie. So now I'm here at the top. I'm just going to take a single black rubber band. Going through all of those. And I'm going to pull it upwards through all of them. Reclaim, slide through, and tug for a slip knot. Now I'm just going to take all of this off of my loom very carefully. And I will meet you guys at the top after you have finished taking all of this. I'm completely off my loom. I'm just tugging at the legs, the arms, at the head, trying to expose the eyes a little bit more. And then I'm going to tug at the feathers for the chest and the back, just a little bit. That way it pops them out like that. Okay, so now he is done. I'm going to just show you guys how to attach the other parts so you can just um, grab your belt, which is currently looking kind of weird right now. So you're going to go through that bottom brown cap band. You don't have to go through all the loops, I just went through three. You're going to grab this other band and place it on your hook. And then you're going to take another single brown rubber band and pull it through all of them like that reclaim tie a slip knot okay and now you're going to with this other slip knotted band on your hook wrap it all the way around or not wrap it just slide it all the way down to him right here now you're going to take this rubber band you're going to slide it over him again like that and then I'm going to quickly twist it, since it's still a little bit big for him, and place it around him, like that. The belt is on him. We are going to place the little feathery thing on him. So I have it on this extra hook, and I'm just going to slide it off, like that. Now I'm going to take it, and I'm going to wrap it around the back of him like this make sure you know which one's the front and the back the back is the one with the more feathers you're going to take it around him like this you're going to slip knot it and take the extra band that you slip knotted it with and wrap it around him like that now you're just going to tug on it a little bit so now he has like this thing hanging from what looks like his belt 
like this. And now you have your completed raven. Um, and if you want to hide this, um, or if you want to just use them as a keychain, you can. I want to hide it, so I'm just going to hide it through a couple bands in the head. Like that, and then stretch it out. Alrighty, here is your completed raven. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want this little X part, you can just take two of your um, regular brown rubber bands, wrap it around half of him, leaving one on the shoulder like this, and then wrap it around the other half, leaving it on the other shoulder like that. Okay? Alrighty, there you have it your completed raven from Fortnite. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I had a lot of fun making him. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.